actually went to, to a synagogue in Brooklyn uh, last night. There were thousands of, thousands of Jews. It gets better. Um, <laughs> and um, we actually went there, and we, I actually felt like the only non-Jewish person there. You know, have you seen those guys all in black and white and beards? And, and my wife had a handbag, and you, know, you, can't, you can't bring the handbag in the, in the show. You can't carry anything on the shoppers. You can't, you can't drive, you can't get, we wanted to get a cab, we felt embarrassed, we had to go like three streets down on the other, the wrong side. Of, and, um, and, but it was, it was a great experience. You can't do, I, I did the research on this recently, you can't do a lot of things if you're Jewish and you want to keep the, the Sabbath. And you can't carry a handbag, you can't drive, you can't use electricity, you can't cook, you can't you really, and in South Africa it's a problem because you have to put your burglar alarm on at... <laughs> At night, and the only way to do it is with the back of a spoon. The rabbis got together, <laughs> and they said, "Well, we got to give them a loophole in Africa. It's dangerous, <laughs> Moishi, What are we gonna do? <laughs> Tell them use the back of a spoon. Why? Because in the Torah, in the Old Testament, what if you look at the world, the spoon, the shalash, the root of the world." It's got three letters, Aleph, Dalit, Tet, A, D, T. So, and it's a real thing. I'm not making this shit up. The back of a spoon, it's versatile. I used the, uh, I thought if I can use it for the burger alarm, I'll use it to make a coffee and put, put the coffee machine on. You fucking try texting on your iPhone with the back of a spoon. It's not easy. <laughs> 